Dr. Steve Peters last night. He was just returning to the Crucible to work with Ronnie. He's Ronnie's sports psychiatrist, a very eminent man. He works with very many top sportsmen in lots of different fields. Hasn't been here for a couple of days, but now he's back in Ronnie's corner, just as he was 12 months ago when Ronnie claimed the fourth world title. He's a key member of the Sullivan's team now. Whenever I work with people, I try and respect the fact that everyone is unique, they're in a unique environment. So when Ronnie approached me, he expressed what he wanted to do with his emotions, his mind, his thinking, and then the frustrations of why he couldn't do that. And then Ronnie worked with me. So I see people, when I work with them as students really, and all I'm there to do is give them the equipment to deal with their minds, to work with it in the way they want to work with it. And Ronnie's been an amazing student. I won the World Championships last year, but for, for a year before that I was working with Steve. And if I wouldn't have been working with Steve, I probably wouldn't have been playing in the first place. He gave me the appetite back to kind of know what it is I want to do, and sometimes you can get in your own way. It's just all about managing your, your state of mind, really, which, I've, which I've, I can do now. I um, wish I'd have been able to do that 20 years ago, probably won a lot more. Um, but still, you know, it's okay managing your emotions. You still need to play and perform and, and execute the shots. I work with a model which is called a chimp model. And really it's a simple way of understanding how the mind works and what the rules are. So when he walks out there to play snooker, inevitably the chimp will kick off and start justifiably saying, I don't want to be here or this is going to be threatening and who knows what it will say. And it's learning what your particular emotions are going to do to you. And then behind that, um, there's a backup system, which I call the computer, which is really to try and understand what are the belief systems you're holding when you go in there and what are your value systems. If we all feel pressure under certain circumstances, and when he's saying, I learn how to deal with it now, rather than just succumb to it and react to it. So it's a learning process again. He's much better this year than he was last year, uh, and each year he's making improvements, so long may it continue.